Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make wire wrapped rings with a twist. Today, we're gonna to be making wire wrapped rings and my inspiration came from Twisted Wire. I love working with this really neat 20 gauge Twisted Wire because it gives your pieces dimension and texture. Um, it's really soft, it's malleable. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that I used it. We're gonna do a simple ring with no bead that looks kind of like a little rosette. And then we are going to make one with a really interesting wood carved bead too. All right, so here are the tools and supplies we're gonna use today. We're gonna use our ring mandrel, our flush cutter, and a chain nose plier. We've got two tones of the 20 gauge twisted wire, a wood bead, and my rawhide mallet, just in case I need to size the ring after I'm finished. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is gonna be cutting our wire. I'm first gonna start with the plain ring with no bead. So cut about three feet of wire. I always like to give myself more than enough. So we've got our wire and we're going to work on our mandrel. For this design, you wanna work one size bigger than the finished product will be. So if I want my ring to be a size eight, I'm gonna be working over the nine. Find the center of your wire and place that underneath the number on your mandrel. So I'm gonna be working on that nine. Bring both sides up and wrap three to four times with each tail. And you wanna just kinda of stack them together as you go, making sure you're still on that number. And this is going to be the band of your ring. So if you want your band to be super thick, you can keep going, or if you want it to be thinner, you can do less. And make sure not to try, try not to cross your wires here if possible. Okay, so next we're going to take those tails and where they cross in the middle, we're just gonna softly twist it. And we're going to do that again and again. And you just gently twist it as it starts to build up into a really cool little shape. And you can do as much or as little as you want here, depending on the look you want. Okay, so then take it off of your mandrel when you're ready with one tail on each side. And kind of hold it pretty firm and then with one tail, you're gonna wrap a tight little coil here of about three. So push it through, pull it around, push it through, pull it around. So you can do one more here. And then I'm gonna take the flat side of my flush cutter and trim that right on the side so that I can roll that little tail down into the band. Okay. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I just love how soft this wire is. This is not hurting my hand at all. Sometimes this part can be tricky on rings. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see that my ring is kind of misshapen a little bit. And I'm going to put it back on my mandrel and slowly just try to open it back up a little bit. And this is the point where if you have your mallet, you can gently tap it a little bit if you need to to get it to open up. And then turn it over and do the other side. Okay, so that is how you make that really cute, simple version of this ring. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it with a bead. I'm gonna change to this really pretty antique brass color, just a wire, and I'm actually gonna pull out about four feet for this one. Okay, so make sure your bead is in the middle of your wire and set it down about one size bigger than you want your finished ring to be. And we're gonna do the same thing we did before where we wrap both tails around a few times, making sure we stay on that nine. If you want, you can tuck the wires under your bead this, is, this one's a nice one because it has a, a little edge on it because of the shape, so it'll slip underneath. Okay, so I've got my bead on there. And sometimes I will just gently push those little pieces down right there so I can get a nice place to wrap. And then you're gonna just start helicopter wrapping like this. And I always try to kind of cover up that hole if I can on the side of the bead, but if it shows, it's not a big deal. Okay, and then when you're happy with your wraps, you're gonna slide it off your mandrel carefully, keeping everything together. And then we're gonna do a little coil on the side like we did before. Just do three or four little wraps. And you can really see the beautiful texture that this wire gives your piece. Kind of gives it a vintage antique look, in my opinion. So beautiful. Okay, now the other side. Didn't leave myself much of a tail, did I? Okay, so see that needs to go back on the mandrel. It's really misshapen. And another tip is if you want, you can take your mandrel off your mount and actually do use it in your hand to kind of twist at the same time. It's a little bit easier to slide it down. So now, see, I did it. I'm right on the eight. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. That's how you make a beautiful wire wrapped ring using the twisted wire. So easy and fun. 
All right, let's go back over the tools and supplies we used for this project. We used our ring mandrel, our flesh cutter, our chain nose plier, 20 gauge twisted wire. We had our wooden bead and our rawhide mallet. If you need to pick up any of the tools or supplies we used today, check out the links in the description below. And while you're there, let us know what is your favorite type of bead to use in rings. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. So now that you know how to make a twisted wire wrapped ring, you can say, I made this.